Hi, welcome to Don's Key Tech. In this video, I am going to show you how to connect, publish, and subscribe to MQTT or MQ Telemetry Transport Topics with your Raspberry Pi Pico W running MicroPython firmware using the umqtt.simple library. I have here my Raspberry Pi Pico W running the latest MicroPython firmware and I will be using the Tony IDE running the latest version which is Tony 4.0.2. I also have my Mosquito MQTT broker running in the background which will serve as the middleman in our MQTT message exchange. We will be using the library MicroPython umqtt.simple in connecting with our broker. Unlike the ESP8266 and ESP32, which has the module pre-installed in its firmware, the Raspberry Pi Pico or Pico W needs to manu manually install it, but it really is just easy. All you have to do is just click the tools here, Manage Package, search for the UMQTT Simple, and then click the first row in the result set, and then click Install. Now, once the installation is finished, then just click close and I'm going to close it here. To verify the installation, then check the live folder. It should contain the umqtt.simple library. And in the terminal window, what you can do is type in the following line. Click enter. If no error is encountered, then the library is installed correctly. Once the installation is okay, then let us create a sample program that will allow us to connect, subscribe, and publish to MQTT topics. The code that I am showing you here is available in my GitHub repository. We are going to program our Raspberry Pi Pico to do the following. One, we will subscribe to the topic LED and turn on the LED on or off depending on the message coming from our publisher. Next, we're going to publish into a topic called temperature and we're going to send in a dummy temperature reading every 5 seconds. So, to start the testing, all we have to do is just copy this boot.py and main.py into the file system of your MicroPython device. So, just right click and upload it into the MicroPython device. Once it is uploaded, what you would do is just click run and then send EOF reboot. But you can see, there is a message here that I am now connected to the MQTT broker running in my background in here. So you can see there is a connect acknowledge message here in the shell terminal. For demo purposes, we will be using this application called MQTTX. If you are not familiar with MQTTX, then I have a separate video on how to use this application. I have configured my MQTTX to connect to my local Mosquito broker and subscribe to the temperature topic. So once you have put the IP address here, just click connect. And once you are connected, click the subscribe button in here and create the new topic called temperature. Once you are subscribed, then you would be able to see the random uh, temperature readings coming from my Raspberry Pi Pico W every 5 seconds. If we check our Mosquito terminal, then you would see that the MQTT messages are being received and then it is being published by our Mosquito MQTT broker. Now that we're done verifying the publish command, the next test that we're going to do is to verify if we are able to receive MQTT messages from the topic that we subscribe in. I have subscribed to the LED topic so that if I receive an on message, then I would turn on the built-in LED of my Raspberry Pi Pico W. So let's try this one. Type in LED and then the message is on. Then I'll click send. Then as you can see, the built-in LED turned on. If I click off, if I type in off, then send, then you would notice that the LED turned off. Let's try one more time. Send the on, and then send. 
So it turns on, and if I click off, then it turns off. Then it means that we are able to subscribe and able to receive MQTT messages from our broker. Would you like to know how I did this? Then let's start exploring. So let's start our discussion by discussing this boot.py. The boot.py is a standard MicroPython file that gets executed first when you, your device reboots. In the case of our project, we are using it to connect to our Wi-Fi network. Just remember to change these two variables to match your network configurations. The main.py is the code that we will use to connect, publish, and subscribe to our MQTT broker using the umqtt.symbol. As you can see, the first lines up here are importing the necessary packages needed to connect to our MQTT broker. The, the next line, which is this one, we're going to define the MQTT broker IP or DNS name here and create the client ID, the topic that we're going to subscribe, and the topic that we're going to publish. Next, we're going to configure the built-in LED of our Raspberry Pi Pico W for output so that we can control the turning on and turning off of it. Next, the, these two variables will be the variables that we're going to use to publish the interval cycle, which is 5 seconds. And then, we have these three functions in here that do different things. First, the sub underscore cb is our callback function that gets called whenever an MQTT message arrives from our broker. Since we are only subscribed in one topic, then we just check the message if it is on or off. Once we see that it is on, then we're going to turn on the LED. Otherwise, we turn it off. Next, the reset function is use in case an exception occurred, calling the machine that reset. Lastly, the get temperature reading is used to generate dummy sensor readings by creating a random number. And this is the main entry point of our project. In the in the main function, we set the callback of our subscribe. And as you can see in here, we have subscribed to the topic LED. In the loop function, we check for MQTT messages by using the API check messages. And then at the same time, we're going to send the publish command every 5 seconds. So there is the API here, which is the mqtt.client.publish. So basically, that is how all the code works. As I have said, it's really easy to connect, publish, and subscribe to MQTT topics with your Raspberry Pi Pico using the umqtt.simple library. The companion write-up of this video contains much detailed explanation of the project. The write-up and code can be found in the description of this video. I hope you learned something. Happy exploring!